Hey, you want to do, baby boo? Um, I was just scrolling through my comments, and um, I always get a ton of messages from people saying the same thing, and it's along the lines of of they'll send me like a message saying last game I went ten and zero with Caitlyn, but my top lane went fucking zero and nine, and I wasn't able to carry him, and we lost. And then I'll have another message saying last game I did three successful ganks mid lane, but he still kept dying after I ganked him. Th ganked from three times and then we lost the game and then it's his fault. Even the other day, this dude sent me a screenshot and I was like, what are you trying to do? Like, what? why are you trying to provide me with proof that your team sucks when I don't give two shits? Like, why are you actually trying to convince me that I actually care about your stupid little situation? <laughs> and I would care if you were coming from a different place because I know when you send me that message, I know when you send me these stupid... Bitch ass complaining little whiny messages about your stupid freaking team on a video game feeding. You are putting so much emotion behind a video game and a team on a video game feeding. And I look at their message and I'm like, for two reasons. First, that's fucking retarded, putting that much emotion, getting so wound up, so angry and letting your freaking emotions be controlled by a video game. That's in the first place is retarded. Um, second off, uh, I know you have the ability. Sorry, you don't have the ability. I know that they're... Um, you have the quote-unquote potential, but then again, potential doesn't mean shit, because everyone has potential. But you have the potential, the capacity, to learn the information that I'm trying to provide through these... Look at all my stupid hand movements. Ugh. That I'm trying to provide through these videos. I know that you have the opportunity to learn them. So what's the, the stopping point? What's the, um, what is it? What's the caveat? Is that the word? It's you. It's you're just being a stupid little ass complaining little bitch, like every other... League of Legends players in the world, and that's why League of Legends players don't get results. That's why 80% of people who play League of Legends are in bronze, uh, silver, and gold. 80% are in those crappy low elos. Now, if you're just playing this game to have fun with your friends and all that stuff, I'm not judging, okay? But if you're trying to get better, if you really want to take this thing seriously and you're in those bottom three, and you're still complaining, even though after the billion guides on the internet that have told you to stop complaining and accept responsibility. Even though all the high elo players in the world, all the challenges in the world, everyone fucking worth their weight, everyone worth their time, says you need to get rid of your ego, your ego and you need to just accept responsibility. You've been told that a billion times, but you're still complaining. And in my head, I'm just like, man, there's no, honestly no hope for you, bro. There's honestly, you're actually screwed. You're completely screwed. And you know what the funniest thing is, bro? When people message me something along the lines of, how do I carry this team? Send me screenshots and shit that I don't give two dicks about. It's like they're comparing themselves to me. It's like, you honestly don't have the, especially if you're in bronze and silver, you, didn't, you should never be asking that question in your fucking life, bro. I promise you. Don't ask yourself the question, how do I carry this crappy team, blah, blah, blah. You're in bronze and silver, you retard. You're one of the crappy people that you're complaining about. If you weren't crappy, you wouldn't be in bronze and silver. Idiot. Are you that stupid? You know what's the funniest thing? I used to be one of these people that I remember specifically. I was with one of my bro. This is when I first started playing League of Legends. I was with my bro and we were at uni. I was there and I was like this. And, I, and we were talking about League of Legends. And, and my bro was like, yeah, my brother's good ass. He'll, he'll beat you, blah, blah. He's so good, blah, blah. By the way, I love this dude. You know, this dude is like one of my closest bros. I'm not trying to like bag on him. It's, this is just literally what he said. He's like, yeah, my bro's good ass. He'll smash all you guys. He's silver. And then I'm like, if he's so good, then why is he silver? And then he's like, oh, because of his crappy teams. And then I literally sat there in that moment and I was like, I, yeah, I agree. The same thing happens to me. Like, as if though it's true. It's the stupidest thing. That's honestly the stupidest thing. The last thing I'm going to say is this. Don't ever compare yourself to me. Don't, honestly. Don't ever compare yourself to me. Especially when it comes to League of Legends and if you're complaining about your team, don't fucking compare yourself to me. Actuals. Did you wake up at five in the morning when you're taking this thing seriously? Did you? Who the frick? Wakes up at 5 in the morning. You know what's so funny? The concepts that I've internalized in my body and in my being or my soul or whatever the frick you call it. To me seem normal. These these concepts of putting in work. It's not even work. It's a freaking video game. Putting in effort. Actually taking things seriously. Actually focusing. Actually being patient and actually being humble enough to allow the information to soak into your neurology and shiz. These concepts are normal for me. But maybe that's why I'm challenger. You put me next to that complaining little bitch who's talking about his team. And let's compare the work ethic, quote unquote work ethic, like it's a video game, it's not work, okay? Did he wake up at 5 in the morning to watch his replays and, you know? Did he humble himself enough to get a coach, to allow someone better than him to influence, to influence him? Did he um, 
uh, wake up at 5 in the morning and watch Korean Challenger re uh, replays, analyze their gameplay. Did he take the time to do that? Did he take the time to actually write down every single concept of the game that he's supposed to be learning about? CSing, roaming, warding, blah, blah, blah. And then spend X amount of games specifically on that uh, single concept and then move down the ladder? Move down the list of things? Did he do that? He didn't do that. Don't ever, ever compare yourself to me. Don't do that. And I'm not even trying to sound like like me, like I'm this god, like like that. I mean, you just didn't put in enough focused effort as me. You aren't as patient as me. You don't want it as bad as I wanted it. Now I don't want it. Now I don't give, like, low-key two fucks about League of Legends. It's just... Like I said, I don't even want to be making League of Legends YouTube videos. But yeah, you don't have the ability to ask that question. Stop complaining. And I've said this a billion times. You're going to hear it a billion more times until, like, maybe someone punches you on the head or something. Maybe someone, like... Maybe you get struck by lightning, I don't know. Maybe you come to the realization where you're actually just like, holy crap, I've been playing this game for three years and I'm still bronze. Wow, maybe I should try something different rather than doing the same exact approach that I've been doing for the past three years, which have brought about shitty ass results. Maybe it's time to switch things up and actually try using the vice, the, the such valuable advice that there is on the internet. Maybe I should start letting it influence me rather than being a little taught. That's the main thing is that when they say that, like if you're watching this and you complain about your shitty teams, you give me that exact scenario that you're complaining about. You give it to me. I'll turn, bro, I'll turn that into gold, bro, straight up. The same exact feeding team that you are complaining about, I'll take that team, I'll carry them to the nines. I'll fucking chuck them on my back. I'm like, come on, boys. We got 20 LP to gain. <laughs> so what's the difference? Why is it that when we I've said this a billion times. Why is it that when we're presented with the same situation, I turn turn it into a positive, you turn it into a negative. What's the difference? What's the variable? It's not the game, it's not the team, it's you and me. Ah, so if the variable is that, then maybe you shouldn't you shouldn't focus on the team, even though you have no control over it in the first place. You shouldn't focus on things that you have no control over. Maybe you should focus on yourself. See, but I say that, I say it, I know how good it is, I know how valuable it is, I know that that's the quote-unquote only way, well, I think it's the only way. I want you, I want everyone watching this to experience what I experienced with League of Legends. Because you're going to go through so much quote-unquote shit, but it's not really bad. Like, you're going to have people, like, judge you. Man, you know what shit I got my, from my family and friends? Honestly, it was crazy. It was honestly so crazy. But it doesn't mean that the judgments and the stuff that I quote-unquote went through... Like, I didn't go through anything. That's I'm, I'm really hesitant to say this, like, as if though I've been through a journey. Like, it was a journey in a sense, but... Like, I wasn't going to die. That's what I'm trying to say. My life was never at threat. I want you to go through that experience of actually improving at something. Getting results. Actually humbling yourself. Actually showing patience. Actually putting in focused effort. Because it's not the thing that you get from it. I've said this a billion times. It's not the fact that I got Challenger. It's the... It's the qualities that I learned along the way. Because I, I took those qualities that I learned along the way and I replied it, applied it to my weight loss. I lost 30, 30, 35 kgs or some shit. That's a really, really big thing for people who want to lose weight. If you check the statistics, the number one New Year's resolution is um, that people want to lose weight. Only 8% of people who make that resolution do it. Like, they successfully do it. I was able to be... One of that 8%. With my internet marketing stuff. With my YouTube stuff. I've created like over 100 videos. I've put in so much effort into it. I've put in so much effort that to me it's delusion. Like I've like, I've like mind effed myself to believe that I didn't even. It's just, it's not effort. I put in so much freaking effort into all this bullcrap that I, I tricked my brain into thinking that it's not much work. I tricked my brain into thinking that losing 30 kgs, getting to challenge on League of Legends... I'm starting up my internet business shit, like with my writing and my YouTube stuff. I tricked my brain into thinking that that's not much work. I fucking changed my whole new neurology around that. That's how much work I put in. I put in so much work that I don't even know I put in work. <laughs> it's clear, uh, to me, I'm oblivious to it, to the amount of effort I put in. I want you to have that experience. I want you to have the experience of you get the thing that you're so sought, af um, sought after for. Sought for, I don't know what the word is, sorry. You get the thing that you want so bad, and then you realize that the thing actually it provides... Uh, it's good, like it's good. Like, getting Challenger was good, but it wasn't good because I got Challenger. It was good because it, it was a platform for me to start learning these qualities. And I, I repeated those qualities. Like I said, I lost 30, 35 kg, some shit. I created an income more than my last job from the internet. I can stay at home. I can go wherever I want with the internet connection. I can make money. And internet marketing is really, really, um, quote unquote, hard to, to make money from. Like it's, like, it's really hard to make money on the internet because there's so many scams and 
people get so, there's so much to learn about sales funnels. You know how much shit I taught myself, bro? I've, if I brought you the books now, I've got like a, like a 20 book stacked of all my notes from marketing. Um, and this is only like 20% of it. <clears throat> I've got way more notes on my computer. I've got tons of audio books, tons of, re uh, sorry, PDF files. I've read, I read over like 70 books in the past, like two years or some shiz. It's crazy. I used to wake up at five in the morning as well and, and I would go through, here was my routine. Wake up in the five in the morning, read for an hour, exercise for an hour, um, do a bunch of other stuff, get ready for the day, blah, blah. From nine to one, I would study, focus study. I would use the, what's it called? Is it, um, to, no, not Tabata, what the fuck? That's exercise. Tomato timer, is that what it's called? It's like 20 minutes on, five minute rest or something. And I did that for four hours. One to two, I would have a break, eat some food, blah, 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 because I'm doing intermittent fasting. Two to three slash 3.30, I would uh, do exercise, do my weights. Three slash four to five o'clock, I would have an hour break. And then five to eight, I would do more study. No, this wasn't because I had a professor patting me on the back or fucking slapping my head being like, Daniel, you got to do this, I'll knock you out. This is me just because I want it. That's where everything I do stems from. I don't know where the fuck this video is going. I guess we can sum it up with this. Um, don't be a little bitch complaining about not being able to carry your feeding team if you don't want it that bad. You don't want it as bad as I wanted it. You didn't wait, want it as bad to wake up at 5 in the morning to practice. You didn't want it as bad to get a challenger coach. You didn't want it as bad to enter yourself into tournaments. You didn't want it as bad. You didn't want it enough to humble yourself. You didn't want enough to actually exercise patience. You didn't want enough to freaking write down the list of stuff you're supposed to learn. You didn't want it enough to get a notebook out and fucking analyze every single mistake of your replays. You didn't want it that bad. So when you say to me all this, fuck, I'm getting so angry. All this dumb shit about you complaining. And you compare yourself to me, all the work ethic that I put in to the point where I, I don't even believe that it's work. It's just shit that I do. I, I didn't even think that, you know, you don't want it as bad as me. I have no idea where this video went, but it fucking got high for you. What the frick? Have a good day. I love you. Stay beautiful. Shun the ducks.